Real quick, before we get into the goodness, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you're notified to every time we upload a video. Appreciate you. You know what really chops my hide? What really burns my biscuits? Content creators. I know that sounds weird. You may be asking yourself, Tucker, aren't you a content creator? No, I am a man, along with my brothers, who is merely expressing his ideas, beliefs, and thoughts and sharing them on YouTube. I don't do flip-flop, wish-wash, follow the crowd. These other dudes, these are content creators. They follow along to be such cultural warriors. They're just like the other side of the culture war. They follow each other blindly. Rarely a single individual thought among them. If one person said it and made a video about it, they literally repeat the same exact thing. And the double talk, the hypocrisy, the overtly flip-flopping ranks high among the things the content creators do. They'll do a video and talk about how this movie did not do enough to develop this character. There wasn't enough background told on this character. And then they'll see a movie. There was just too much background told. I didn't need to know all that. Well, mother which one is it? It drove me crazy. And in talking to my brother Cool Breeze, he reminded me, bro, these are just content creators. What do you expect? They need something to talk about. And once I got that in my head, I learned to let a lot of what they do and say slide. I did a great purge a while back where I unsubscribed to at least a dozen people who I found myself listening to that did that time and time again. Apparently, I need to do another purge because there are those out there that have really chapped my hide. The latest thing being the quote unquote Miller Lite controversy. It's not a controversy. Miller Lite made a commercial in honor of Women's History Month, which was March. This is May. They did a little promo talking about the history of beer. That was all based in fact. Hell, they even left it out, but it was all factual done by a female comedian who I have no idea who she is. And these content creators have seemingly lost their mind. Now I've said in a previous video that I believe that the reason that this video has resurfaced in May is I believe Anheuser-Busch made sure it got pushed out there. They have the whole idea, damn it, if I go down, you go down with me. This wasn't anything egregiously woke. It wasn't. What it was, was a fail flat joke being brought up at the exact wrong time. Being brought up while people are still hot about the fake woman, Dylan Mulvaney, partnership with Bud Light. Instead of people taking that and separating it and seeing for what it is, they, oh my goodness, of course women had to be the people to do it. There are only two men, only two species, men and women. Ha ha ha. They, if y'all listen to some of these content creators, they either at best dismiss the facts, at worst deny it. It's what it was. You may look this up for yourselves. I found the most informative site on this was the Smithsonian Institute. Their website not only tells the story of how women became brewmasters, but also why they brewed and why they were pushed out of brewing. Very informative. I mentioned that in my last, um, in my last segment discussing this controversy specifically. So go back and find that if you'd like. But these content creators, these dudes are really borderline misogynist on this. They are making me sound like a wokey addressing a bullshit but the fact of the matter is women made beer 
it's not that big of a deal. Why are y'all tripping on it? Why are y'all acting like it's not true? And please don't, I, any of the people that I'm referring to that just may happen to trip over this, don't act like you didn't. Go back and listen to your dumb asses. Ha! Huh. Yeah, well, you know, women did it. Of course they went well, with, you know, to say this, you know, women had to do it was, was obvious. Of course, there are only men and women here. So, of course, they... That wasn't the point, And y'all know it wasn't the point. The point being that women did it. So, that's what it is. Why the f*** are y'all tripping over it? Because these same content creators, y'all, get pissed off when their history is ignored in comics and in fiction and in movies. These same content creators hate it rightfully so when they have taken things like the male leads in Star Wars, particularly Luke Skywalker, and completely dis dismissed him and mothballed him. When they have taken strong male leads out of comics and, com and simply perverted them. So when the new generation, when this current era of reader talks about them, they completely dismiss the stuff that we grew up on. These same content creators get pissed off about that. That's not history. That's not canon. That's the, well, it's the same thing with this. Fellas, it was a damn joke. It was a bad one. It fell flat. It didn't land. But go watch the video for yourselves. I have it in my previous uh, segment. Go check it out. It's just a bad joke that I believe Anheuser-Busch put out at the exact time to make sure that uh, Molson Coors sank right along with their ass. But I've made videos about this before. These content creators, you know how people talk about um, TDS, Trump derangement syndrome. I believe that these content creators are suffering from WDS, woke derangement syndrome. They can't take anything individually and look at it separate. If it's a woman, oh, oh my God, it's got to be woke. Oh, attack the wokies. Calm down because now you are falling into that trap in the dark night. You either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the villain. Y'all are becoming villains. The same way they went so far left they lost their mind, y'all are going so far anti-woke that you're making them appear right. Not every time that someone spouts something factual that a woman may have done does not make it woke. The same thing goes for anything else that has been pushed out there among the woke agenda. Just step back, take a breath, touch some grass, watch something from the past, rebalance yourself, and then look at things without your anti-woke eyes. Some things don't need to be attacked. They may be made fun of, mocked, laughed at, but chill out, y'all. It ain't that serious. Yo, if you want to hear the rest, make sure you check out our podcast. You can find us on all your favorite podcast platforms. That is iHeart, Pandora, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and Amazon Music. Plus, if you want to reach us, drop us a line. You can find us at freemindthinkers2022 at gmail.com. Let us know what you think about us. Leave a comment below and share the video with as many people as you can. I greatly appreciate that. This is your man, Big Brother Tucker. See you on the other side. And always remember, never be afraid to think differently.